Hey everybody, welcome back to Life is Feudal. Today is Exploration Day, and as such I have left my shack behind, down the hill behind me, and we are going over the hill and heading to the lake. In fact, you can see it right there. And we're going to cruise down here and check out some of our neighbors nearby. Now, once again, today we're going to be exploring. We're going to check the lake and see uh, what's going on out here. Last time I was here, there were three, four huts, and I think there's more at this point. And then we're going to seek out another town and uh, see what it's all about. I have not seen it before. I know approximately where it's at. I may have to wander around in order to find it, but we're going to take a look and see if we can spot it. So... Let's cruise down here to the lake. We've got a house immediately to our right. I know there's a few over there, but we'll step out here and show you the view. A very cool view of the mountain there in the distance. And yeah, looking pretty good. We have a hut across the way. I think there's one on the other side of the hill there. We'll check those guys out, but uh, uh oh, <laughs> that is a wolf and we don't like wolves. We're going to go ahead and run into the water. <laughs> and see if he follows. I guess they don't follow into the water. We could try to attack it, but let's see what he does. Okay, it looks like he didn't want to follow. I don't think we're going to be beating him anytime soon. Anyway, hopefully he ran off. Let's go ahead and head back up here. <laughs> Detoured by a wolf. So there are a pile of rocks down here. They could be digging out a tunnel somewhere, maybe right up over there looks like it might be. But uh, we're going to go ahead and head over here. Somebody left a bag of something out here. Let's cruise on up here. So it looks like we've got a little bit of tunneling going. and It's not going very far right now. And this is the home of nobody. So <laughs> somebody had this and just needs to come back in and claim it. Uh, basically, you can right-click it and you can claim it. You can set it as your home. We're not going to do that right now. We're just checking it out. And I don't remember who was here last time. I don't remember who owned it. But anyway, they have what I think is one of the coolest views here. You can see they built the ground up a bit and have this kind of raised view of the lake. Pretty sweet. Well, I thought we had another hut along the uh, southern shore here. It doesn't appear to be the case, but we do have a tombstone here. <laughs> Wolf might have got somebody or who knows what. We've got owner stone there. You can see we've got a moose here. Now, the animals are kind of few and far between, and, and as far as I know, it's just wolf and moose at this point. The funny thing is they do tend to appear in pairs. They kind of cruise together. <laughs> in fact, it looks like this is a wolf corpse over here, so somebody may have taken out the wolf. Poor guy. Alrighty, anyway, we're going to go ahead and swim over to the other side. Might as well do the swim and... Uh, check out the hut and potential other hut. I know they were starting, but I'm not seeing it, but we'll go check these guys out on the North Shore. Okay, so this first guy right on the North Shore does have a moose corpse out here, but really nothing else going on. A couple bags laying around, I think, and uh, looks like they have a furnace that they're going to get started. And what's this guy here? This is a crate. So they got a couple things started, but no house yet. Once again, we got the moose corpse out here. <laughs> just laying out here. Funny thing is you can actually access this almost like a storage device. <laughs> I stuffed in the back in town I put some boards inside of the moose corpse that they had. So we're gonna cruise over and check this guy out. So he's got a HUD, he's got things fenced in a bit. Looks like a furnace, maybe a kiln. Very cool. Looks like he's cut some of the trees down here nearby to get his wood. This is a cool view as well. Really uh, out in the open but very cool. So this is Landwolf Hinglebob's home. <laughs> and you can see he has a chest and a crate. He's got the house, a campfire, the cauldron here, the big cauldron. Looks like he's working on something else as well. The wine press, I think it is, yep. And then he's got these tools up here. Forge and anvil, very cool. Got the kiln and got the furnace. So definitely well on his way to getting a nice little setup here. He's got the fences coming around. These take... Uh, 10 sticks if I recall correctly. I was starting to make a few myself. So anyway, uh, it looks like, I can't really tell, I thought there was supposed to be some more uh, homes along the lake and in fact I'm kind of thinking that might be it over there. It looks like some walls. So that might be the other town. I did hear it was near the southern base of the mountain and maybe that's it. Maybe it just happens to be on the shore as well. So let's swim over there past this other dead moose <laughs> and see what this looks like. 
Okay, as we get on shore, we're going to have to be a little bit more careful over here. We get a little farther from the town, and some of these guys have set up some places, and they've got rules. <laughs> rules you have to follow. No, not, not really, but uh, mostly just you want to make sure that they know you're coming, you know, people are kind of suspect, appear on the server, just walk into town, because things can just be taken. I tried to do the respectful thing and let them know that I was coming over here. I think there might only be one or two people over here right now. That's cool. Got a little tombstone out on the... Uh, out near the water there another one here but this is very cool already they got some cool looking walls set up here so we're gonna go in here and take things slow not hopefully make anybody attack us or anything cool another tombstone out front a lot of deaths occurring out here it looks like unless you can just make things that's what I don't know <laughs> I don't know if a tombstone just appears where you die or if you can just make those but anyway very cool looking love the walls here very cool Looks like they're planning a gate. Maybe they're going to do a road out to the uh, water at some point. You can hear the chickens in there. <laughs> yeah, oh, look at this. See, they have the stone gate. It's just not set up yet. Very cool. So they've put it down to indicate where it will be, but really, uh, that's that. Boy, look at this place. They've got a really cool setup here. You got some ground set down, number of huts. Got all the workbenches here under this guy. Very cool. Look at the uh, steps up here. This is pretty awesome. Stone wall with stairs. Very cool. That's kind of an odd... Ooh, we jumped there. <laughs> cool, and you can go out to the tower. Man, you can see they're going to wrap that around that way. This is very cool. Very cool looking. Okay, so you can see they've got... They've been going after the moose like crazy. Very cool. Got an anvil out here. Number of furnaces. Kind of a working area. Looks like they're, they've got some farm out there. There's some trees planted, and they may have gone and cleared a bunch of that out. Never been over here, so I'm not sure how just how thick the forest might have been. You got the chicken coops, and it looks like they're out here working. Working away. So we'll kind of give him a nod. This kind of bows your head when you <laughs> point down at the ground. But, um, yeah, very cool. Let's jump out here. So he's saying hey to me in local. We can say hey back. <laughs> Tell them that it's looking good. Very cool. They've been doing, been very busy out here. And in fact, look at this. They're digging it down to build the wall. So probably because they started at the beach at a certain height. And once they came in, they wanted to keep it the same. But um, yeah, that's this is definitely coming along very well. Let's try not to go back down in there. Looks like they've got stumps out here all orderly so they had been planting these and cutting them down very cool got some laid out almost like a bridge over there pile of rocks there and in fact some more homes back here so they've got a lot going on back here I thought the town over by where I was was doing really well and I thought that that might be the only one that other people were mostly by themselves I had heard talk of the of another town but yeah this is definitely a nice setup out here very cool clearing back here as well Gonna sprint back here a bit. Could do some really good farming out here. This is nice and flat, and I really am <laughs> understanding the benefit of having an area that's already pretty flat. Having built mine kind of on a slope and needing to level everything out, this right now looks really appealing. Really appealing. Just ready to go. Well, here you go. Another look at the town from a hill near the lake here. And uh, yeah, this is looking really cool. And of course, you, we popped through the trees back there. They got a couple more homes and a really wide open valley set where they can do some really cool farming and more homes and everything. This is a definitely a very cool setup. I think once they really get this going and finished, especially up here at the front, it's going to look really cool by the lake. Very, very cool. Anyway, I noticed when I came up to this hill, they actually have the tunnel right here they've been digging. And I was wondering, where are they getting all this stone at? They're, they obviously have a tunnel set somewhere they're digging around. And uh, sure enough, as I came up here to get a look at it, I saw the entrance here. So let's see just how far down in here this goes and see what they're doing. The guys back at the other town where my place is located have a pretty well dug out area. It doesn't look like this actually goes that far. But uh, yeah, I'll look at the light come in there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> But they've definitely got a lot of material from here. They may even have another tunnel somewhere else to be getting all of this stone. But very cool. A very cool look. Now if I go to the map, I had heard that there was another town. If I could stop spinning my head around. <laughs> 
I heard that there was one south of this largest mountain. Now, I'm almost wondering if that, when that was said, if they actually meant this place that we're at now. But I think I'm going to run over here directly south of the large mountain and see if I can't find some other kind of town just in case because a couple of the people that I associate with that town I didn't see any huts here in their name so I'm kind of thinking that it might be there might be another place nearby so as I was skirting along the southern edge of the mountain I decided I would climb up here to get a good view of things and show you guys what that looked like now what I noticed was I came up and there was a pile of rocks and I thought oh, maybe there was somebody up here and from the pile of rocks I saw a stump not too far away so I ran to it and then from that I could actually see all the way over here there was a hut so somebody was set up here turns out it's somebody by the name of Moose at least according to if we look at their house their owner is Moose TNR so looks like he's come up here leveled out an area and built a house he's got a little tunnel he started there probably getting some stone from there has a spinning wheel has a couple furnaces we even have a kiln in the works now he's got a couple bags up there of mortar and pestle looks like he was cranking those out as part of skilling up but look at this he has the view right here you can see the lake down here just beyond the trees is the western ocean so you can see both coasts you can see the mountain that's in the south as well as the mountain that's over on the west coast so a very cool view from up here I'm really really like in the spot he's chosen and what I didn't see in the bags that he has laying around here was any food so what I thought I would do is just go ahead and leave him a little present I separated 20 apples out of here so we're just gonna kinda drop these at his doorstep and uh, leave those here for him hopefully he spots those 20 apples should do pretty well I've been kinda grabbing them as I've been going I really don't have anything on me right now I left a lot of the stuff back at my place and uh, the idea being twofold essentially that uh, one that if I get attacked and get killed I don't have a lot of my stuff on me that I would really uh, be a little bummed about having to remake I'm not really worried about any of that stuff too much but I figured since this was all about exploration I would just kind of leave that stuff behind the other thing too is that when you're this light on your feet you actually move faster and it takes a lot longer for your stamina to burn down a lot longer actually so anyway we definitely want to be light on our feet for exploring but I, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I thought it was a really cool spot. Uh, good job, Moose, for setting that up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop off of this mountain. You can see we're up here. And continue my search kind of south of the mountain to see if there's anything else around there. So I didn't find anything south of the mountain, but I have decided to head over to a mountain. It's actually not far from here. You can see in the top right section. And we're going to check out just south of that because that's another spot that I heard there might be a place south of the mountain that's to the northeast. So anyway, I'm going to go check that out. But I wanted to show you this, this basically this bog. You can see how it slows you down once you get into it. So really slows you down. Even if you sprint, it really, really impairs your movement. So anyway, there are a couple of these on the map. Uh, and this is one of the largest ones that there are. Now I'm noticing that there is kind of a a section out in the middle of it yeah like a peninsula let's actually zoom in here you can see the peninsula out here I was thinking that would almost be kind of a cool place because everybody slowed down if you had ranged weapons and actually built out on that peninsula something you could kind of fence in the back side of it so anybody approaching would be really slowed down you could just take shots at them currently with your sling <laughs> apparently I, I have the ability to make bows or at least crossbows, something like that, but I haven't got around to that yet. At some point we're going to check that out, but anyway, I just wanted to show you what a bog looks like. In fact, one of the larger ones on the map. Well, just a minute ago I passed a bag on the ground as I was running over this hill to head to the uh, mountain that's up to the northeast. And in fact, as I came up here, I think I spotted something kind of square over here. I'm not really sure it might be nothing but um, I was kind of heading in this direction I may have lost it at this point Let's see if I can spot it again I detoured because I wanted to go to the top the highest uh, hill that I was about to go over because it seems like a spot that people like to post up but now I'm not seeing what I thought I was seeing so it was probably nothing w what we'll do is we'll probably pop out into this clearing and then take a look around up ahead you can see some clay 
And it looks like even some chopped down trees. Oh, there we go. Check that out. Got some walls over here. So this might have been the place they were talking about. Head on over here and see what they've got going on. So it seems Leah and company are a little too busy for the local chat or the global chat. I jumped over there and tried to get a chat going on with them. Although maybe we can talk to Will here. Looks like he might attack me. I'm just going to nod to him. <laughs> Hopefully that's cool. <laughs> I think he might want to attack me though. <laughs> this, this could be our first death. I don't really intend on fighting back or anything. If they want to kill me, that's fine. Uh, okay, so he's saying you must leave at once. <laughs> we'll go ahead and surrender since that's an option. If we can. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. He just came out of nowhere and slashed me. Oh, I must leave at once. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So, anyway, I think we'll go ahead and try to stand up. <laughs> okay. We'll be on... Actually, we. <laughs> you guys. You guys and me. I will be on my way. <laughs> you see some people take... Uh, take their homes very seriously and that's cool I can I can definitely dig that uh, let's go ahead and stand up here It'd take us a second <laughs> so anyway this is their spot they've got the walled in area they have a home they have uh, another home up there it looks like it's fenced in and they have just really cleared out a lot of trees so on really on all sides but they've got a great view of the mountain too here on the eastern side of the mountain very cool Lots of trees chopped down, and it looks like they, although that's the clay, I was going to say it looks like they were mining that out, but that's probably just a little bit of shadow over there. So anyway, a pretty cool setup there, um, despite slashing me <laughs> out of nowhere, <laughs> slashing me. It's a pretty cool setup they've got up, out here. I really like this area. You've got the valley kind of going down there. I think that actually up ahead opens into another valley where a wolf once killed me on another server. But uh, anyway, yeah, very, very cool setup, although <laughs> the locals are a little bit hostile. So I haven't got too far away from Lee and company, but I spotted another hut up here. You can see their place in the distance. This is probably another one of their spots, so I may not be entirely safe in here, but I thought we'd check it out. Oh, there's three, four, one up on the hill, so there's a couple places out here. In fact, there's Leah's place. So that, that place is like a new spot they're setting up, it looks like. So yeah, I'm probably not welcome here either. Also claimed by Leah. That one up there. Can we... Can't quite get it. There's bags all over, so they've left stuff laying around here. <laughs> Which means they probably really don't want me around here. Though I have no intention of taking anything. So there's Will's place. We got somebody, Ruby, a Stormcloak. So there is this Stormcloak clan. Very dangerous people very hostile so we're gonna have to keep an eye on our back as we pass through here and uh, be on our way I think I just spotted a moose over there yep okay well out here we are at the mountain that's at the northeastern tip of the island looking back towards the largest mountain back there there was a rumor at least I had heard mention of a town near here now as I came up here I noticed that somebody had a place up here already. It looks like Randy Savage. <laughs> nice name. He's got a place up here that has a really, really nice view looking out on the ocean this way. You can also see the ocean over there, the island down in that direction, southeast. And yeah, you got a really, really cool view from up here. So yet another place with an amazing view. People seem to be seeking these out. Now, as I was running up here, or rather I came up and over this direction, I saw it looked like a hut down below. And I did hear the town might be at the base down here of this thing. Of this mountain. Let's see, where did I... Okay, I think, I think that's it right there. Kind of ahead of me. And it may just be one hut. We do see a chopped tree there as well, so we'll check it out. I don't know if this is going to hurt, so... <laughs> we're going to slide down here. We get some icons up there at the top, but... I'm really not, I don't appear to be taking any damage, so that's cool. Let's go down here and see if anybody is here. We got chopped trees and one hut. Maybe more deeper in the woods once we get down here. A little hard to see. 
kind of thick. Looks like a cool spot, and with the trees cleared out, you can see the sun coming through, right through here. Very cool. So what do we have? What's the name? Mogliu something? <laughs> Mogliu. Something along those lines. Has all kinds of grain here, ready to be harvested. Of course, we're going to leave everything alone. And they've got some things laid out here. Got a campfire. All kinds of stuff going. Look at all the carrots come in. Very cool. It's a cool little setup. Ah, look at this. There's another hut here. And it's Leah, so they actually have a couple locations here. Interesting. It looks like they even have a stone wall coming up over here. Now, this does concern me, right? They don't want people in their area for reasons. <laughs> they said they didn't want spies. I don't really consider myself a spy. I'm just kind of exploring the lands. Now, this could get me killed if they're out here, but I'm probably going to assume that they're still busy back at the other place. I don't mean any harm. I'm not here to take anything, so I'm not really going to worry about it too much. I just want to see what they've got going on. Very cool setup. I really like how they've got things laid out here. Using the fence is really cool too. I started to make a fence myself, but it wasn't that kind right there. It says wooden fence. Mine was the other ones, the wattle fence, so I might look into that. Interesting. I'd like to do that. Okay, they've got some of this dug out here. That's kind of cool. Looks like I'm wondering if they are planning on building onto this, like building the castle and having these like tall edges straight edges. They got some coops. I see a moose down below. Got a tunnel in there, so they're definitely getting a lot of rock from here. That's for sure. Got a couple other huts here as well. Another one belonging to Leah. This one's kind of open for anybody. Very cool. Got this little outpost. I'm assuming they're going to throw walls around here. The way this is flattened out and the way they've been digging over there, they probably have much more planned. This could look really cool. Well, our journeys have brought us from the west coast all the way over to the east coast, east of the mountain, and here we are within sight of the island out there. It's entirely possible that there's people out there. I know there was talk of that, so I think we might head over there and see if we can find anyone else set up, but so far I've ran into much more than I thought I would have. I honestly thought that there was the town that I'm nearby on the west coast, and I knew there were some huts around the lake. And then I thought there might be a town near the mountain somewhere. But there's a couple places that are pretty well established. Have walls up and everything. So it's very cool. And it's really making me want to check out the uh, island. I just passed a furnace back there. Somebody had set up. And I suppose they, there could be a hut out here somewhere. We'll keep an eye out. But I think what I'm going to do is make my way over to the island. We'll see what's there. And uh, if not, that may be the end of our exploration, at least this time around. Well, that'll about wrap it up for our little exploration adventure this time around, taking us uh, all the way across the continent here. We are now on the eastern beaches of the island. We are at the farthest eastern point, essentially, if I were to run just over there. <laughs> but I did find behind me a furnace and some flattened land, and a little hard to see back there, but... That's it. So somebody may be out here setting up here on this eastern point. But uh, yeah, I think I think that'll just about do it for us. It was a good run. We got to see the storm cloaks and their location and their hostility. We got to experience that firsthand. We saw the lake town looking really good. And uh, yeah, it's been definitely a fun adventure. So I hope you guys step stop in. Step in? <laughs> I hope you guys step in next time and uh, follow along in my adventures here in Life is Feudal. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time.